Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Town. Here we are back for episode 5 of our Astrogoth campaign, Chaos the War. So we're currently on turn 38 of 50. There's no auto resolve in its normal campaign difficulty, normal battle difficulty. So we've uh, we've gone and taken Grimgore out very early on, which was the plan. We've obviously got our starting province established. The Gormandi declared war on us. We've actually taken the first of their settlements with one left to go. Uh, and just as we were about to re-establish our Ourselves, a random army of the dim sun suddenly appeared uh, in the middle of our province and just started sacking everything so we're now trying to chase them down before they do too much damage which has been a real pain in the neck we've caught them once we weren't able to wipe them out but we are now chasing them down over here so when we look at uh, where we are at the moment we are uh, we need raw materials and gold. We've got plenty of armaments, more than enough armaments, in fact. So it's really about getting that gold, which is something um, that we don't currently have. So um, without further ado, we're going to end the turn. That's taking us on to turn 39, and we'll see where we end up as we move into uh, towards turn 50. So we've kind of expanded in a direction that you wouldn't normally expect to normally go north or south, more particularly south, but uh, the opportunity to take out Grimgore early was uh, too good to pass up. So we've now got um, Clan Ferric of the Skaven who want a non-aggression pact, and I'm going to take it because I don't really want to go to war with them right now, um, but I do not trust them. They are Skaven after all, and look at this. We've got a heroic victory against a settlement garrison now we all know that if this was uh, a game that you would be playing you'd probably be hitting that auto resolve right now but we have no auto resolve on which sucks in a way but I think we'll actually get to see how the auto resolve is maybe a little bit too biased towards cities and defenses especially given that uh, this is an unwalled settlement we are massively outnumbered so we'll see what the enemy decide to do it's going to be very very interesting either way we can hope that they're going to remain close enough for us to finally catch these people down and they they have split their forces which does make it a bit of a pain right the enemy generals over there so i don't really want to fight him at the beginning so we've got people over here now this is potentially a good place for the blunderbuss to defend so i could buy into that and then we've got an awful lot of We've got a lot over here. So, we've got a Chaos Dwarfs there. In fact, yeah, the two archers behind is probably a good shout. Uh, we've got another unit of Chaos Dwarfs here. In fact, that... Yeah, I think we might have the other unit of Chaos Dwarfs in behind. And then I'm going to take this Goblin unit. And I'm going to pretend, I think I'm going to put the goblin unit like so, with the blunderbusses like this. And hopefully they will come in after the goblins. Right. So in terms of support, we're going to definitely put a tower in up here. And... We got any places we can put towers over this side yes yeah, so we're going to put a tower in here now my plan is to try and defeat these or do as much damage to these units as possible and then see if we can come back and these goblins out here are essentially just a sacrifice um, but that's where we're going to put the first tower as soon as we've got enough um, enough of the resource so without further ado let's see how much damage we can do okay so these guys are coming in pretty quick Is 
Is it going to be enough? Don't know. We're coming up to 377. Those goblins are not going to last. The question is, is where we put the tower, because if I put it there, it's probably going to get destroyed very quickly. Maybe another tower over here actually would be a better place to put it. So let's put another tower in here. Can they break them? They're not at the moment. They're holding them from being engaged. But it's not going to be enough. They are going to be engaged. But they don't want to break. My word, they've got their leadership. A very good leadership. So yeah, the sacrificial goblin unit is down. These guys are breaking and they are shattered. They are running right. Let's send the goblins after them. And let's come up here. Um... That tower still doing its thing. Any more places we can put towers around here? No, that tower's going up. No, I think we'll just hold where we are. Right, so they have one. So let's send them in. And let's bring you guys back up to the middle. Good. They're engaging those Arab boys. Are they going to lose? No, they might win. All right, can we finish these off? Let's get rid of them. In fact, no, let's get them back as well. Let's bring these guys back in here. And let's try and defeat this lord. Engage them. They are winning down there, which is not a bad thing. Right, where's this lord? Right, so they're capturing that area. These goblins have... So let's head back to the middle and block off there. The blunderbuss, I want to try and get you lined up like so with you guys in behind. In fact, let's have the blunderbuss in like this. I'm not sure we'll get there in time, but let's try and make the middle a bit of a killing zone if we can. Alright, so towers. Bit of an odd placing. Right, okay. So let's build that. So these are Chaos Dwarves, these are the blunderbuss coming up. Goblins are retreating. Let's bring these guys back. get some shots off on this. Okay, now engage him. And pull back. Up 
Both you need to be shooting them. Oh, the leader is fleeing. And we have actually won this. Would you believe it? Move that way so that we don't... Uh... Can we finish that leader off? Come on, shoot him. Boom. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, last projectile going in there. Boom. And it is indeed a heroic victory. Well, I wouldn't have normally predicted that, but actually they were pretty damaged and it didn't take much to break them. Um, we managed to focus the right elements of the enemy. We sacrificed a unit of goblins who still survived and the blunderbuss and the goblin archers showing their worth once again. So a good result and a heroic victory in this case. Hopefully now we can finish off this pain in the neck unit or sorry army that randomly spawned what are we going to do out of this do you know what that's a thousand uh, treasury so i'm going to take that and it does look like yes the dim they have uh, so strength through pain at the cost of moving unit experience 2000 that's pretty nice do you know what i think i will take that that will come in useful later on uh, martial training, recruit rank plus one unit gain plus 10%. Astragoth, Astragoth, can we finish off this one? I think we can finish them off now this turn. Uh, yeah, we should easily be able to finish them this turn. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to sit where we are, but you three are coming into the middle along with these, and you're just going to go off straight after them, because I don't want their leader to escape. So I want to go after their units first. finish off as many of these as we can what we don't want them to do is to run off and escape just like that lord's coming back At the moment he's getting hammered pretty hard by the artillery they're running right those are going after them Right, now we're going to stop the artillery, so I don't want any friendly fire. Finish off them. Okay, engaged we go. Go on, get engaged, and you fight. Finish him off. 
finish them off. Actually, no, you need to finish these guys off. Good, he's gone. I think the army's going to be finished, but let's do everything we can to make sure. The plane of chasing down fleeing units. Go on, finish him. Come on, goblin. Do your job. That one guy that is just being pushed around. There we go. Ah, oh dear, there we go. No problem. 89 kills. So one guy. We missed one. We missed one who escaped. <laughs> it looks like it was an arrow boy. Scragger Guzzler, though, is destroyed. And I'm pretty sure that should be the end of these pain in the neck dimmed suns. There we go. Uh, Labour, Treasury, Army, none of it's... Uh, 210 Treasury. And we got look, a unit capacity for Chaos Dwarf Warriors from our Tower of Zarkham Scriptor seat, which is very nice. Dim Sun's faction is destroyed. And now we can come and do what it is we were going to do in the first place. You have also got to where you wanted to be and we can now recruit what we wanted which is get rid of in fact there's no point in doing that right now because you're going to come past it let's move you back here And you're going to come up because we need to. We want to recruit some stuff. I don't want to pay over the odds for it. So. Let's get ourselves the Hellcannon. Which is that one. Let's get ourselves. So we don't have any more blunderbuss. We do have artillery. So. One and two. Let's get two more of these magma cannons. And then let's get rid of your laborers for two more Chaos Dwarf units. Perfect. Right. So that's the Bull Center Torret. So let's finish off with that armor. And then we've got the building upgrade, which I actually don't know where about that one. Can we get here? Yeah, that don't know where about that. that's trade resource, armaments, gold. So we'll definitely get that one. Research. Um, let's see, local recruitment capacity, that's pretty nice. Well, we've got the armaments. I think we're going to do that. Let's end the turn. And now the plan is, is to get Astragos' army up to the other army and exchange units. And we're going to make the we're going to make Astragos' army more heavy on the Chaos Dwarfs, and we're going to make the other army the Hobgoblin one with uh, Gorguts in it. Okay, moving as quickly as we can. Building upgrade, no. Yes. And that's it. And then research. So that's going to give us... Wound recovery time and ward save for all characters. That's also very nice. Hit points plus 5% and weapon strength for all characters. Uh, ooh, that's also very nice. 
Um, but you know what? I'm going to go for the campaign movement first. Okay, and we'll end the turn there. What we're doing is we're setting ourselves up for two much better armies, uh, more consistent armies that then we can focus on finishing the Gormandy while Astrogoth goes south and takes that Orc province that I've been wanting to get since the beginning. But like I say, being able to get rid of Grimgor was huge. Okay, so he's nearly there. Not worried about him. So he has recruited the units we want him to recruit. Not worried about that province right now. Armaments. And this one. No, let's leave that. And end the turn. There's no harm in saving up gold and raw materials. This is also interesting. As soon as you have discovered the Demon Prince Dave, the camera will always zoom to it. Um, and it's only that faction it will do it to. We've got Mandy won a peace treaty and they're going to pay for it, but we're not going to accept it. You go to war with me once, and uh, it doesn't happen twice. Right, so let's go here. Now let's swap units. Right, so I want a magma cannon, a hell cannon, all of those, and all of those. So, Chaos Dwarves, right. One, two, three, four. Two Blunderbuss, one, two. Um, Hell Cannon. Hell Cannon, Magma Cannon. But we need guts like so so that will that would give me six frontline infantry plus a unit of sneaky gits it will give me four blunderbuss and two archers and the two artillery so we got full-on hobgoblin army but with three artillery and then we've got essentially a Chaos Dwarf army with basically a couple of Goblin Archer units and a Sneaky Git Goblin unit just as uh, uh, to make up the numbers for now. Okay, that works very well. Great. Uh, cargo capacity, yes please. Building upgrade. Yeah, we can have raw materials. So yeah, let's take the mines. Underground caverns. Yeah. And then that's that's all fine. Okay, great. In the turn there, turn 42 becoming turn 40. 336 factions left. Um, I think the one good thing with the, what we've done here is we haven't overextended too much. It's very easy, I, th I think, I find on the Chaos Dwarfs to overextend a lot. Um, we haven't overextended, which means we've been able to invest in our provinces with our raw materials. We just now need to go out and really start smashing and get that labour in as well. Right. So he's now going to go and finish off the Gormandy. He's going to move south to go after the Silver Pinnacle and then these Orcs. Okay, building upgrade. That's nice. Carrack Frag actually would be a nice one to upgrade. So let's upgrade that one. Um, not enough yet to upgrade the raw materials. Or here. Not worried about that one. 
and that one's upgrading okay raw materials it is that's the focus That is the focus, ladies and gents. Raw materials. They want a trade agreement. All right. Okay, are you inside or outside? You're inside the settlement. That's a garrison likes. It's a level three settlement. A sizable garrison. And what's he got? Lots of ice trolls again. Um, let's siege him out. Valiant defeat. Continue the siege. Okay, uh, Lord moved. Right, so let's come round here. Campaign movement range plus five percent, which is excellent. Um, Tower of Czar, not quite enough yet to get another seat on the second tier, uh, but we do have this, and I'm going to boost. So armament cost, recruit rank, and recruit cost. Hmm. Let's leave that for now, and let's go after the Lord's Ward save and wound recovery time. Uh, don't want to upgrade that. Nothing there. But I do want to upgrade. Actually, you know, that's 300 per turn. That's 200 per turn. So that will give me plus 100. Because if I up... Actually, no, that will just be the same. So... Yeah, let's do this one. Are the Gourmandy going to come out after us? Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? They are, and it's a Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. Let's look at the map. Okay. The trolls are going to be a pain, but I think we can do it. And we got Gorguts in there as well. So. Let's fight the battle. To have a look at the terrain here make sure that we don't get caught out with too many trees trees are the problem they're the bane of my magma cannons uh, that's downhill but then it's flat here that's uphill but there's lots of dead ground i actually think i might come over here we got lots of uh, line of sight for the magma cannons. So magma cannons. Like so. Archers. Sneaky gets. And then these two here. Now, we will extend those lines. So let's start the battle. Hold in place by archers. Like so. Sneaky gets. Like 
so let's have Gorguts over here. He'll be less good against the trolls, I think. Let's go. Good cannons are firing. Let's get what we can. Make sure we've got some protection on the flank. Let's keep an eye on where those trolls are. over here. Okay, trolls are sighted. Do we have a shot? Okay, let's watch this flank. Can we win the middle quickly? Looks like we are, actually. Looks like we are winning the middle quickly. Right, let's get rid of that. Good, they are breaking this one. Okay, you into that. Good, they've nearly gone. They're breaking. Marauder Hunters. Lord's got running. They're running. Good. Next. So we've won the middle, now it's just the flanks.
the overseer into here. Okay, they're running. Next. Lord is dead. Okay, running. Right, can we get shots into these? Maybe. They're gone. Interesting. They've just kind of sat there with these trolls. fleeing next I wonder if they'll actually flee off the thing victory's in the grasp apparently not surprised they've not used half their army Some reason these aren't shooting. Is that because they're blocking each other? Okay, let's do that. There we go. Hopefully now they're not blocking each other. There we go. That's better. Gonna flee soon. There they go. Next. Oh, now that was a good shot. They're running. Very odd. Yeah, they didn't like that, and off they go. And that's it, ladies and gents. That's it. Close victory, apparently. Okay. CA, so, yeah, yeah. We lost 70. We killed like 1400. And that was a close victory. Uh, yeah. If someone can explain that one to me, I'd be really interested. Didn't feel close. Maybe if they just attacked me with the trolls. And there we go. And uh, labor, treasury, or army replenishment. I'll take that labor. Seeing eye faction destroyed, Lord not moved. So we're going to attack that, but we got this one to attack first. So that's nine. Right. So let's give him logistician. Yep. So that's cash replenishment. And, uh, yep. and uh, Gorda's backstabber. Let's have. Melee attack and not worried about that. Lucky, no. Let's give Dodge them. Okay. How's this looking now? Decisive. It's still a lot of trolls, right? So we're going to have to work out how to deal with them 
Let's have a look what we've got. Not really planning on taking the walls in that way, so let's fight the battle. I'm hoping we've got a breach in the walls again. Maybe, maybe not. If not, we've got the cannons to take the towers out, and then we'll try and breach the gate. Again, the aim will be to use the goblin archers on those ice trolls. They do not like the fire. So we've got no breaches by the looks of it. Two towers and a gate. Lots of towers. Two towers and a gate. Two towers. No, okay, so I like this area over here. Apparently, all my goblin archers are going to be in the siege equipment. Who thought up that? Great idea. Okay. Whatever you say. Oh, something weird going on here. What is going on? Hmm, is that a bug? Right. So then, uh, the sneaky gets can start right up here. What the heck is going on? That is what you call a weird bug. So let's try and stay away from weird bugs. Okay, they're going to be here. In fact, I'm going to have them here. And then the goblin archers are here. And we'll have to bring them in. So. Ugh. Jesus. Buggy crap. So, okay, that's open. Magma towers, the uh, magma cannons are doing nothing to these uh, fort towers. Right. Let's move these through. Hazam! 
Zongu's gates! Oh, this this map is literally whichever complete donkey designed this. Holy crap. How does that not get play tested? Look at it, it's disgusting. get into formation please like sometime today Okay. Why won't you get in again formation? Come on then, are you gonna... We keep shooting the fleeing unit, donkey. Why are you still shooting the fleeing unit? Trolls. Kill the trolls. AI being really weird today. I don't know what they've done, but something is weird. tower. Thank you. 
Oh, let's just uh, run for this then. There's a whole stack of enemy right here. Just milling around. Let's move them forward. Maybe they can get some shots off onto them. Trolls. You can get out of here, please. Victory. It was. This was weird, man. This was like a weird battle. The AI just, again, did, it was weird. They didn't fight the wall. They didn't defend the gate. They didn't defend the road. They just went off in blobs around inside the cell. I, I, I have no words. I haven't seen the AI play like that inside settlements. Whether this is to do with the new patch and the new AI, I, I have no idea, but I don't really know what that was. We lost 144, mainly because of the bloody pop-up towers and on the route to the walls. Magma Cannon's not doing much to the towers, interestingly. Weapon Strength 18. Occupy the tower. Faction destroyed, and we get brutal business plus 20 weapon damage for all armies. He gets ambush success chance. That's them done. Okay, right. Next lord that's not moved is here. And we're going to go to war with these orcs. No allies chosen to become involved. In we go. Close victory. And medium casualties, apparently. Really? Okay. And that map bug. Holy potatoes. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Right, yeah, we really need to get that tower seat where you start with a breach. That would be nice. So it looks like we're coming into that corner. We do have four blunderbuss, which can make a real mess. So I think I'm going to have Astrogoth, the Bull center, and then the renders can go after the gate, and then we'll see where we are. There's no towers where we're going in. It's like two towers there, but there's no towers here. Okay. So Astrogoth can go in there because there's no there's no towers. Chaos Dwarf Warriors in behind. Artillery, like so. Um, sneaky gets can protect the artillery, and then we've got 
the four blunderbuss. With the two goblin archers. Okay, channel the magic. Start deployment, start the battle. In we go. They're going in with that. Let's bring the blunderbuss up to here. Oops, and no. So. That's got to hurt, but they're still there. They're not dying yet. Despite all the artillery coming in. Good, they're fleeing. those guys and then we'll take the gate artillery focus those and let's bring in the chaos warriors that's the chaos warriors chaos dwarf warriors to here Blunderbuss in. Can't at the moment. Wow, they're getting pretty uh, damaged. So let's give them Flaming Sword of Ruin. that right let's try and get these in okay, it's such a nightmare there we go and then let's try and get these guys in like so. The gate's ours. Let's move these up. Let's move these up. up to the next. In fact, we can move it like so. Well, that's what you call a choke point. Ooh. 
I would say there's not much left of the enemy there. In fact, what is left? Not a lot. Some trolls over here. Trolls in a tower. Really? How, how are you not being shot? the battle because it's a uh, settlement battle and we don't like them. But that actually worked out right because they all bunched up in that little choke point and the artillery were just able to pound them. Um, and we managed to get our blunderbuss and we took a little bit of fire from the bat settlement uh, battlements but at least the enemy fought for the gate and walls this time. So it was much better settlement battle than the previous and I think much more enjoyable because it's much more enjoyable to fight them at the walls and break through the gate and that's kind of how you'd expect to siege, right? Anyway, 21 losses, 686 kills. Pretty happy with that as a result. There we go. And Occupier's Tower. I think I will. There we go. And we got uh, Treasury 1000, Mission Successful, and Diplomatic Rations plus 40 with the Overlords of Zarduk. Uh, skill points. So let's take... Uh, Kindle Flame is weakness to fire damage. Killing Fire is when casting a spell. Yeah, let's have that one. Killing Fire. Um, let's give him a continue on our mission. In fact, ooh, missile resistance. Let's take that because that will be useful for him. Uh, damaged building, which is current flag. So we're going to get rid of that. We are going to take a garrison building and mines because we want the raw materials. Uh, anything else? That's gold or a mine. Let's take the mine and here we can take the gold. That will work nicely. Gold and raw materials, that's the focus. And there we go. That's the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're on turn 45 of 50. Only five more turns to go. And we'll have completed the Astrogoth 50 turns, no auto resolve campaign. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments down below. And as always, if you want to see more content, please hit that subscribe button. It's free for you to do. It means a lot for me. So thank you for that in advance. You've been watching The Ghost Dial. Tune back in for episode six as we uh, finish, and we will finish uh, this 50-turn campaign with Astrogoth and the Chaos Dwarves, the brand new faction in Total Warhammer 3. And uh, after that, we'll be looking at the other two Chaos Dwarf legendary lords. See you soon.